What's up guys, Average Gamer here, and today we're bringing you another Pokemon deck build. This time this is what I call my Poison Overload deck. Uh, it's four expanded, so uh, if I can make one for uh, standard, I'll try that later. But uh, this is an expanded deck, and once again, I do not have all the cards. So what you see here is just the best that I could think of with what I had. I essentially wanted to make a deck that runs around this Toxicroak. Uh, essentially, his second attack, the Poison Boost attack, uh, if it's, this Pokemon is poisoned, it does 80 more damage, then remove the special condition from this Pokemon. So what's the best card that could go with this? The Ariados with the Poisonous Nest ability. This is, the reason this is expanded is because you, you can't use this card in standard, it's too old now. But uh, essentially, once per turn, you may use this ability. Both active Pokemon, except for Grass, are now poisoned. So with this, you can now poison both your Toxicroak and your opponent's Pokemon, unless you're running Grass. But it doesn't matter if your opponent is poisoned with this, you're really just aiming to poison the Toxicroak. But if your opponent is not Grass, and it gets poisoned, that's when the Survivors come in for the additional... Uh, one more damage for poison between turns. So this deck runs around poisoning your opponents as well as your own and then removing your poison and then hurting them for a lot. Because this does 160 and then against uh, uh, da, 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 a GX or something if you attach choice band goes up to 90 plus you'll have the poison between turns which can do up to if you have three survivors out 40 damage between turns. Uh, we also run the Salazzle from the new Crimson Invasion, which uh, luckily only requires one energy, so it's pretty easy to run, and you can use if you need to. It, it's severe poison, which does four damage counters between turns. So if you have the Survivors out, can do up to seven. So it's a good card to just help while you're still getting up your toxic rope because it does require two psychics and a colorless um, but since this is expanded we also have um, also running a few cards that you can only use in expanded and one of them is this team plasma muck the reason I put decided to put this in is because of his first attack the poison suction uh, when the defending Pokemon is poisoned you can heal 60 from this Pokemon so essentially, if your opponent's poisoned and you're not, or if, even if you are, you can then hurt them and heal yourself. And his second attack isn't too bad either, just for one more energy. Uh, flip until you get tails, and you can discard an energy for each heads, and it does 80 damage. And like I said, we're really aiming for getting that poison burn, but it's once again, we're still more for the Toxicro getting that huge damage from the not being poisoned. Uh, and we also, like I said, because these are Team Plasma, I decided to run the Frozen City Stadium. Because once, since uh, we don't run any Grass Energies for the area dose, you're not going to attach that, and Slazzle only requires one, uh, and your Toxicroak, while he does require a few Energies, uh, there's a way to go around this, um, and your Muck is a Team Plasma, so he won't take any damage from when you attach an energy. Your opponent, on the other hand, will most likely not have a Team Plasma. It's not a very highly run type of Pokemon. And any time they attach an energy, they're going to take two damage. Uh, the way to get around this with your Toxicroak is if you have the Team Plasma badge. You attach it to your Pokemon, is now a Team Plasma Pokemon. That, or we use our own Field Blower to remove the stadium. It, it depends on the situation. Uh, as for trainers, uh, we run an energy lotto, a uh, couple evolve sodas, since they're all stage 1s, there's no stage 2 or anything, no need for rare candies or anything. A uh, couple field blowers, you got the hypnotic laser, just to, just because you can always run this, but I always run out of farmer who's an expanded deck, just that nice poison in, the chance to also sleep them. Uh, we got three max elixirs, one risk future. One Super Rod, just to get back some of the energies and when your thing gets knocked out. A uh, couple Ultra Balls, Ace Roller, Bridget, 
uh, Coldress, because you're gonna most likely have a full bench with all the area dose and the survivors not wanting to come out. Well, because you'd really rather not play them. You can then draw at least up to five from your bench and then whatever your opponent has on their bench. So you can then get up to a maximum of 10 cards. So it's better than a Professor Sycamore because you're not tossing anything. It's also better than an end late game. So uh, we run the delinquent. Like I said, it's another way if we don't want our stadium anymore, we can then toss it and then hurt our opponent for it. Or if our opponent has a stadium out, we can then remove that as well. Two Guzmas, one Lily. Since it's expanded, we can run the Lysander. Uh, we've got two ends, one Kakui, just for us. Occasionally, you may need that extra damage just so the poison can finish them off. Uh, three Sycamores, got a Bursting Balloon, because, uh, like I said, when you get out, if they Guzma out one of the car your survivors or your area dose and you can't retreat it, you might as well hit them with something. Uh, a couple choice bands, a couple float stones, once again, 10 players my badge. And we got our four DCEs and only seven uh, psychic energies. So that's where we may struggle in the energy pool. Like I said, luckily, this Slazor only requires one. And if you have to, you got your Survivor. It requires one in a DCE, but we're really not trying to do that. We really just want to get the Tox Croak up. Uh, so, like I said, this is kind of like the Horchko deck where you're going to use the start to sacrifice some stuff, set up your what you're going to go for, and then after that, you should be sweet. Uh, I have, I've only tested this deck once before, just after I made it, to make sure it worked. I ended up facing the uh, Ordino deck. I w luckily, I won. I managed to, you know, get the poison and take out the Mega Ordino. Um, but... Yeah, it's it's uh, there can be changes made. Like I said, we don't need as many. We don't need technically the plasma ones. We can remove the plasma. We could even remove the mark in place of some more energies or some other stuff. I was trying to make a deck that didn't involve GXs, so it has to be a six card game. Um, but yeah. So without further ado, let's get straight into the matches. And we're facing an all grass deck, so this could be interesting. Uh, it could be anything from Galissapod to. I'm trying to think what else is just all grass. Could be a Gensec, Shining Gensec. Oh, well, we both mulliganed. Yeah, there ain't many basics in this, so there's a good chance you're gonna mulligan quite often, but. Yep, yeah, we've got another mulligan. And they mulligan twice. Oh, yep, yeah, so Shenotic, we go. Oh, yep. Yeah. Uh, Alright. Alright, so we're going to start with a Sandlet. don't really want to sycamore or do anything. I kind of need to keep the DCE end. So, where we got Trevenant, can't retreat, there's 20. Yeah. Well, this may be a quick duel here. We'll see what happens. If if I have to next turn, I will I will have to re use the sycamore. All right. Let's see what we draw. Uh, all right, well, just in case, we may lose stuff, so... Oh, well, we can straight up evolve, which is kind of handy. So I'm going to attach, evolve. Now, since I don't need any more energy, I might as well lay down the stadium and hit him with that severe poison. So if he now attaches, he's going to take an additional 20. And I don't need to attach any more, so... And I can also use Nasty Plot if I'm going to get knocked out, because there's no no need to use Severe Poison anymore. But I think he's going to deal 70. Ooh. So I, if I don't draw a... Alright, well, 
just gets hit on the flip. Alright, hopefully he can't turn it next turn, because I don't really have a choice. So we'll get out the Crow Gunk. Let's Ooh, uh, we'll get that. So like I said, if he gets hits, he wins. Alright. Well, it's unlucky for our first match, yeah. <sighs> Alright, we'll... We have to go straight into another one instead. That RNG. She a bitch. Alright, let's go into the next match. Hopefully we can get a better start in this one. Like I said, this is a bit more of a like a fun deck rather than like a serious one. Uh, this time we're up against a fighting and normal. So we'll go for the tails. We won. Alright, we'll go first. Let's see if we can get a better start. Alright, Grimer, Spinarak. Alright, we'll start with the Grimer. And luckily we got an N and an Ultra Ball, plus we also have an Evo Solder, so depending on what we draw, may Ultra Ball and then save our N for the next turn. Guzma. Hmm. Don't need the float stone right now. I would like to use the energy. Alright, so we'll attach. We'll discard these two and we'll get out now my dear Pokemon needs to be poisoned well d oh, it doesn't look like we have the muck oh yeah the muck in the deck so I think I'll grab a crow gunk and like I said I'll set him up next turn so our muck is prized, that's okay. Like I said, this isn't the main card to use. Nope, he's giving it additional health. And he's also got the car bank. Ooh, 40 straight off the 50 straight off the bat, damn. Well, with a corner I can flick it. Lily. Nah. Oh, Lily give me six and it won't give him extra so let's evolve we'll get out our spinner uh, area dose now and we'll go for the lily instead so I'll gain five cards and he won't get anything for it alright so we should be able to now start uh, I was hoping that would work like I said there's not many cards there so start attaching Switch your opponent's bench for the defending. You need to get heads, otherwise you're knocked out. And carbink. Oh, well, his carbink can retreat off one, so might as well just poison nest then. No point retreating. Ah. <sighs> This may be another quick match if I don't get a knee. Uh, this one, you need to set it up while surviving. And when you come against someone who's just constantly attaching, that's not going to help. And he can now heal any poison, so we're going to have to bring out our Crow Gunk. This kind of sucks. Or the area does. Well, let's see. Oh. If I get the area dose, if I manage to draw an energy, a max elixir, and a tox croak, I can sacrifice the area dose. So let's see if we get lucky here. Alright, so I'll drop the sand loop. Don't want to attach there. Alright, so let's go for the sycamore. See if we're lucky. <laughs> nah, nah, no, nah, no, nah. man, you, you, you have a good deck. Uh, we got unlucky there, but we can field blow away. Uh, and we're gonna have to end it there. But we got another sycamore. 
that he can just heal. And he can KO straight off. And what's he got there? The Lugia. Well, luckily I'll only take 60 from Lugia since I don't have any EX or GX. But his Zygarde's just going to be kind of a pain to deal with. So I'll put out the Sandlick. I'm really hoping for... No, not getting what I need. Alright, hit the Sycamore. This is going to be a pretty quick match at this rate. Alright, alright, here we go. Come on. Yes. Alright, oh, he's already evolved. Damn it. Ah, uh, well, I'll have to attach that one there. Ah, uh, but I can evolve him as well. I'll set up one. Alright, so... <sighs> I think I'll use N. Oh, no, he's gonna remove... Yep. Ah, should've seen that one coming. This deck isn't very reliable. <laughs> but, like I said, I, he has to still take out all of mine to get it done. I can rescue stretch, is there anything I want? Mm. Bring back a spin rock. Yeah, because then I can use Coltress to draw. Oh, no, I can use N. Might as well attach. Yeah, well played. Alright, so next turn, if he doesn't Guzma me again. I got this. Okay, and maybe we can pull out some amazing comeback win here. Oops, stadium. What's this one? First Pokemon cannot be confused or poisoned. That's fine, that's fine. What? Oh, and an enhanced hammer. Oh, Ah, oh. well, that's that's just gonna have to sad face that. That just ruined my entire play. Well, I can remove his thing, attach. I'm gonna have to put forward. Mm. Don't really want to put forward this viper, but I don't really have much of a choice here. I need the Tox Croak. <laughs> well, well, luckily we got another one. So we can attach again. Since I'm going to get one shot anyway, might as well poison him. Attach again. Alright, so now he's going to take three, just for this turn, but he's pretty much got game here. I definitely, I needed that, him to not remove my energies, that, that was kind of the only way I was going to win there. Strain to sell, so all right. Well, might as well just bring out the tox croak. Uh, he's well, I can do a bit more damage to him, but I think that's about it. Oh, look at one in sixty. Yep, so you get game. Well played. Ah. 
you get the gist of where I was going. Like, if he didn't get lucky with that, I could have lived without that in, with the enhanced hammer, but because he got the crushing hammer as well, it just ruined it. But you get the gist of how the deck works. Uh, I'll put out another one, like I said, as always, straight in the, in the next video, I'll put out another one where it's just all matches, no deck build. But it, yeah, so it's like I said, it is, once it gets going, it's a really fun deck to play. But like I said, sometimes you're just really unlucky. So. So, right, if you liked what you saw, leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever you like. I'm not fussed. And, uh, like I said, I'll leave a dis link in the description below to the next video. And, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.